Discord. Hey guys, happy Monday! Um, I am Leanne, for those of you who don't know me, um, and that might be catching the recording. So, Corey and I, hopefully you guys got a chance to listen to the National Wake Up Call from last week. I feel like we just have a lot of great calls. Today's was a great call as well, talking about challenge groups. Um, but, you know, after last week's call, we kind of talked about what do we want to share? Like there are so many trainings out there and I don't know if you guys are a lot like me, but it's almost like there's just so much information out there and you're like, I have to know it all before I can get started that you never actually take action. And we're at that time of year where time is limited. We all have our list of a million things to do. Um, I told Corey today that I don't care if the queen calls me and tells me she's coming over my house in two weeks, like you're not invited because <laughs> we've just had so many things coming up. And so we just want to take this time to make it action based. And this is when you grow your business. So if you're thinking, Hey, I'm going to hop on these calls and I'm going to really start implementing in January, we're going to bring you back and say, no, we're implementing now. So the goal of these calls is to just kind of go around and really, really quickly, not like super quick, I mean, take your time, but to identify what goals you have for this week. Because my takeaway from the call last um, Monday was when you're sitting there, so it's November 5th, and you know, you're on this call right now. So maybe tomorrow night you're like, oh, yeah, I want to hit Success Club 5 this month. That's it. That's my goal, Success Club 5 this month. And so then tomorrow comes and you're like, it's time change. I'm tired. I still have the whole month of November. And so then November 6th comes the 7th and oh, this came up. And then it comes the 8th and then the 9th. And then all of a sudden you're sitting there at the end of the month going, what happened to the entire month? I am keep asking, what happened to this entire year? How is it November 5th already? So our goal for these calls for at least the remainder of is to really focus on what are your goals for this week? Do you have goals for challenge packs? Do you have goals for coaches? Um, those of you who are starting a team, do you have goals to kind of help your coaches as well? Um, and then I really liked just kind of a personal goal they talked about. You guys share with us, what goals do you like need to say, hey, I am struggling with this or I need to achieve this and this is going to be my goal this week. And so then we're going to check in next week and go through. I have my Excel workbook open up right now so that I can write down your goals. And then next week we'll hop on the call and state, you know, when it's your turn, you'll state where you are from your goal last week and what your goal is for the next week. And I know I have some people on my team that can hustle at the end of the month and then it's like back to the same thing, like, hey, I'm back at Success Club Zero until the 28th of the month, and then they hustle. And so this will just get all of us feeling stronger throughout the year and feeling accomplished. And I know for me, I just feel like I have so much more momentum when I finally have a number on that board. And so it just keeps growing. So um, I am just going to, I can't unmute anybody, but Alicia, you are first up, my friend. So if you would love to share with us um, your goals for just this week, I would love to hear those. She's like, you're calling me out. And <laughs> all right, so we'll come back to Alicia. Dawn, what are your goals for the month or the week? Not the month. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. I um, am. Hmm. My goal this week is success, success club two. Awesome. And is that with a client? Is that a customer yes. or a coach? Okay. Customer. So that means you're invite, what are you inviting to right now? Um, challenge group. 
Okay. When did you, and so you're going to invite like 10 people to get to success club two this month, this week. Uh, I'm going to, yes. Good. <laughs> Corey's like, yes, you are. And you're going to rock it. So awesome. Any personal goals, anything that you're like, Hey, I need this accountability. So I want you guys to check on me next week about whatever. Is there anything else? Um, posting daily. Okay. On Instagram, Facebook stories. Um, Instagram. Okay. I've got stories down. It's more of, of the daily Instagram. I need to get up, get going. Awesome. That is a great goal. Okay. I can't wait to hear how you rock that next week. Okay. We're going to be, I'm going to be looking for your posts. See how you're doing. <laughs> Some little ones in there. Well, thank you so much for leading that. Erin. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. Well, I had really it up. What was that? Were you partying it up too much this weekend? No, because I did not feel good. Oh. <laughs> I tried to have fun, but which I did have fun, so I shouldn't say I tried, but um, was not feeling well at all. And all last week, I really did not do much because I could not function. Oh. So, just um, just trying to get back in the group of things to be, you know, just to get myself collect my thoughts and myself back together and um i'd like to be back active emerald and you're gonna say what do you have to do to do that i don't know because i didn't look <laughs> but two active coaches yes so I, I need to get my sister back active and then um do i do see do i do morgan <laughs> i would sign morgan up maybe we'll look it yeah so that that's um she owes you that's another one of my goals. Oh <laughs> <laughs> just she can't hear me, but are you <laughs> <laughs> well good. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> so that and then I need to I need to get myself going with getting a challenge group going. The one that I was gonna, you know, do with the whole um to be kind of fall apart, even though I was talking to people and you know, I my faults with follow throughs. Um, so I need to reach back out to them and hopefully I can get one going again. If not with that, then just a, um, just an accountability group. I mean, keeping it simple. Um, so that's this week. So you're going to be active Emerald by next Monday and you're going to have your group going. Set up to invite to. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when is the start of that group going to be? Peg a date and stick to it. <laughs> yes. Well, if I take, if I, yeah, I'll, I'll text you the date. No. I, yeah, I'm, I'm pulling on my calendar right now. Oh, okay. Well, what's. The Why don't you just do the 26th? Let's. Like a challenge group on the 26th so that people can get through Thanksgiving or maybe you do like a, I don't know, like, I, yeah, I don't know. Like that gives you three weeks to be talking to people and inviting people and getting them registered. Okay. So Thanksgiving hangover challenge group. <laughs> yeah. Just something, I mean, seriously, because people are going to feel like garbage after eating so much food. So you can really play off of that and just kind of play to having more energy to get through the holidays and be less stressed and things like that. Think about the things that overwhelm you in the holiday season and what you want Everything. to have more of and play into that. Like, and, and to add to that, Whenever you guys are inviting, especially if you're doing a group on like the 26th like that, ask everybody if they want to add in the three-day refresh. Like I already have my three-day refresh to do like that week, like that weekend. Just get it over with, you know, feel good. I think this is the time of year that three-day refreshes are just so amazing because like one after Thanksgiving, one after Christmas before New Year's, and then start the New Year strong, just feeling really good. So 
just always ask everybody who's purchasing a challenge pack because you guys are going to be selling massive amounts of challenge packs. Just be like, hey, did you want to add in the three-day refresh as well? It's a great kickstart to everything, especially after the holidays. So definitely something to think about. Okay, so Erin, you're going to be active Emerald. That's like your real, real focus. And then get that Thanksgiving. I just put Thanksgiving hangover group started. Okay. Um, Nate, what are your goals? Uh, well, you know, I kind of, like Dawn kind of caught me off guard, which is bad because we do. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds so horrible, but I don't, I don't make goals. So, um, I think it's because I've been trying to get this challenge group going, maybe, you know, we were kind of talking this morning how I post about them, but I don't ever actually invite to them. And that kind of goes back to what I was telling you like a year ago, how I kind of had some bad experiences. Oh. Like, like 10 people to my challenge group that's coming up you invited 10 people to your challenge group or well, that, would, that would be what i would do this week okay it doesn't sound like much but for me that would be like huge <laughs> that's an awesome goal yeah and you guys i want to remind you like there is no judgment here you know like you guys get to decide what your goals are like i have always struggled with inviting to coach and that's my own like fault. And so when I think about it, like for me to say, Hey, I want to invite 10 people to coaching there. Like I could probably count on this one hand, the number of times I've invited 10 people to coaching in one week in this year, you know, like, and so if you like, that is where you're at, that's where you're at. So don't be like, Hey, I've got to shoot for this crazy goal because somebody else is you, the only way this helps is if you take action, you state the goal, you take action, and then you show up next week and you say, this is what I did. So on average, Nate, you're going to invite 10 people and one person's going to sign up. And that is so awesome that somebody's life is going to be changed because you dared to invite 10 people. So own it and be excited about that. So we can't wait to celebrate that next week. Just invite your 10 and then maybe you'll keep going or maybe you'll just be happy with those 10 that week. So that's yeah. awesome. Who's on, who's 405? I have a feeling it's Kelly. I'm like typing in the number. I knew it was her. Kelly Gray, are you on? Yeah, it's me. Can you hear me? I can. All right. Are what are your doing? goals, Mama? For the week. Huh? What are your goals? goals? Um, I am starting a child. I don't have a calendar in front of me. Uh, starting a challenge group a week or two weeks from today. Um, I'm going to focus on shift shop and going through girl wash your face. And I kind of did what Taryn did as far as like with the challenge pack. If they purchase the challenge pack, I'll send them the book. Um, I have one girl who is going to do it. She's just going to do a Shakeology for now, possibly. I'm still trying to talk her into a challenge pack. Um, but she's a previous customer from before. I've invited um, six people total. She's my only taker so far. But I'm using the rest of this week to push my goals to have at least three girls in there. So that's my goal for the week. That is awesome. Three challengers from my challenge group that is awesome and for it for the girl that's like and eh, sh think i'm just going to do the shakeology she can get shakeology plus beach body on demand for 140 dollars so for yeah I, and that's exactly like i told her she's she's just went through a divorce and she is living with a friend and she's like i can't do it in the apartment with them i feel weird and I'm like, girl, so many people take their phone to the gym and do it at the gym. Like, there's no reason for you not to take advantage of this. So, um, well, even, like, even say, hey, like, for $10 for a year, is she always going to be living with this dude? Is he always, like, right there? Like, even if you don't exactly. take advantage of it for a couple 
couple of months, like, you know, like there are just so many benefits of beach body on demand and for $10, like that's definitely. So awesome job. We can't wait to celebrate your three new customers. I'm super Thanks. proud of you, Kelly. I'm really, really, really proud of you. I appreciate it. One day at a time. One day. That's all we can do. All right, Miss Corey, what's your, what are your goals, mama? Um, I just want to share Alicia's uh, because she typed it. I think she might still be at work. So she's just um, sharing through the chat and she's going to be working to get back to active Emerald. Um, and she needs to start posting um, more consistently and doing her stories daily. And she will be at SC2 are her goals for this week. So um, you can do it, girl. We are here to help in any way that we can. That's for all of you, you guys. Like before I share my goals, it's so important to set goals, okay? It is so important to look at weekly, monthly, and the bigger picture, yearly, three years, five years. You have to have goals in life to want to grow and move forward, okay? Goals are not made to um, frustrate us or for us to feel like we've missed them. They're made to push us outside of our comfort zone. And even when we miss them, because we're going to miss them once in a while, believe me, I've missed a ton of them. But does that make me a failure? No, it doesn't make you a failure. You grew in the process. Okay. You became stronger. You learned, you stepped outside of your comfort zone and you became stronger. So set goals for yourself and grow upon that. Don't stay in that comfort zone. When you like Nate, if you invite 10 people this week, we are going to aim for 20 next week. Because if you stay in that comfort zone, you're not going to grow. Okay. And it's not to push you to frustrate. It's to push you to get you excited and to help you see that growth. Because the reality is if we only invite 10 people a month or 10 people a week, long-term, that's not going to establish a successful business. That's the reality. I'm not trying to um, say that that goal is too small because we all start small. Believe me, my numbers are very small at first too. Okay. But if you want to really build a successful business and a grow an income with this, that's going to have to grow along with you as you start to become comfortable with it. Okay. So we're always kind of stretching that limit. Okay. So, um, with that said, my, um, goal for this week is I started shift shop today. Um, so it is my goal to stay focused. The workouts are never a problem with me. It is the nutrition. Okay. Day one was a massive success and I did not touch the candy. Ooh, that's huge for this mama. So, um, nutrition and doing shift shop and following the nutrition. Um, I will be at success club six by Friday. How I'm doing that is I'm inviting at, le at least 10 people a day. Okay. Um, I will enroll two new coaches before Monday and I'm going to help two coaches rank advance in their business before Monday. So big goals, big goals. I think that's it. <laughs> Well, so I'm writing it all down. So Shift Shop Nutrition Success Club by six by inviting 10 people a day, two new coaches. Enrolling two new coaches and help two new coaches rank advance. Okay. So I will be at Success Club 10 by next Monday. I'm writing these down. <laughs> Um, I will have, um, my diamond back. I just need one active coach back. And my focus is freaking nutrition. Our candy. So this, none of this candy, this is all that's left of Faith's Halloween candy sitting right here, but none, none of it is anything I'm interested in. So it's done now for us. I'm like, that's just not even incentivizing anymore but um so but that's my focus i'm on week two of shift shop so eliminating the carbs i have all the food i just have to cook the food and eat the food <laughs> so that is my my goal and um and i should write it down 
the national wake up call today, I thought was fantastic. Just, and I have my group already like as an ongoing group, I think I'm going to be putting all of my to be mindset people into that group and create just like a module for them. Um, but I just love that. So I'm really excited about spending some time in that group and just getting it re-energized and excited. You know, I talked with them, like, let's kind of, they, we all do better when we're working together on a challenge, like on a program. And I feel like everybody's just kind of scattered right now. So I said, all right, transform 20, January 14th. That's when we're starting. So kind of backed up. So I will finish two weeks of shift shop and then I'm going to do, I don't know what I was going to tell you, month one and month three of 80 day obsession. I feel like bulking time messed with my head too much, but that gives me, that takes me exactly up to, um, transform 20. So that's what I'm focused on. All right. I think we have everybody, right? Everybody's, I have all of your stuff written down. Picture. Every smile pretty. Awesome. Um, and I might even like share this. I don't know. I'll figure out a way to share it like so that you guys can see if you want like what did I what did I promise I'm doing <laughs> and just maybe set a reminder in your phone to be like hey I have to hit this goal this is because it's one thing to say our goals mm -hmm. and I I've learned this as well for me like sometimes just stating a goal gives me that same excitement as and like payoff as achieving that goal and so you have to keep working on it and keep reminding yourself like hey i set this goal so now i've got to follow through on it so just keep maybe put it as a reminder in your phone and it goes off every single night maybe when you're sitting down and you're thinking oh i don't have to work tonight that reminder will pop up in your phone saying hey i committed to be at Success Club 2 or back to my active Emerald. And so I need to take some action tonight because I, I need to show up on that call and, and share how I've succeeded. So mm -hmm. I hope you guys all have a fabulous night. Thanks for hopping on. Corey, do you have anything to add? Take action. No? Take a deep breath and take action for your goals, you guys. You can do it. And I promise it gets easier. It does, and know that we're all in it together. Like, I looked at Corey's goals and I'm like, holy shit, I need to step up my game. Like, those aren't easy goals for her. She's not like, oh yeah, I totally have all these people in the pocket waiting to sign up. <laughs> hey, hey, all my friends. Hey. See them all? <laughs> They're all my friends. <laughs> you know, like all of our, like every time you're thinking, oh, this is hard this person, it would be easier for them. Like we all set, like we didn't come on this call and say, Hey, everybody needs to be at success club two, you know, or success club five. We all said like, what are your goals? And we'll challenge you like Corey said, but no, like if you're sitting there feeling like, oh, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. So and so no, we all chose goals that are difficult for us at our own level. Hopefully you chose a goal that was a little bit scarier for you. I think the more we do this, the more Corey and I and the rest of you will be able to be like, dude, you can do more than that. Like show up. But this just gives us this chance to say like, this is our starting point. Let's, you know, go from there. But if you're feeling like oh, I'm struggling or I can't do this, know that there are one, two, three, four, five other people, six, seven other people sitting there saying, like, I got to show up too. I've got to lead because it needs to be all of us doing it together and saying, Hey, I can do it. Cause how much more fun will it be when we get on the call next week? And we're like, I did it. Okay. So set your timer for next week and make sure you're on the call next week too. Yeah. Don't go we'll MIA. Go yeah. Cause we know your goals and we'll come find, we'll come you. find you. Yes. Um, and really quick, make sure you track what you did this week. Okay. How many people did you actually invite? How many people did you add? Use the business activity tracker. My girls have one that I've created. Use something you guys, because if you're not writing down how many connections you're making, how many people you're adding and how many people you're inviting, how many times you've posted a call to action post and we're still not hitting our goals, we have no idea where we need to grow. 
Okay. That gives us our basis and allows us to say, okay, well, you made a lot of connections. So this week we can increase our invites. Okay. So that we do reach those goals instead of just going in this circle, not knowing what our numbers are and not knowing where we need to put more time and effort. Okay. All right, guys, have a fabulous night and we'll talk to you guys next week, but probably sooner. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night. Bye. Bye guys.